In this episode, we stop at a Harvest Host destination along Interstate 95 in Durham, North Carolina. Then afterwards, we share the RV tip or top of the week, and we check in on the cats to see what they're up to. So stay tuned. Tonight we will be boondocking at this beautiful Harvest Host location. It is conveniently located just off of I-95 and on our way home. The Roanoke Navigation and Water Power Company built the Weldon Corn Mill in 1890. Over the years the building has served as a community center, dance hall, and community swimming pool. It is now the Weldon Mills Distillery, a micro distillery producing fine bourbons, whiskeys, gins, and vodkas. At the historic mill house, you'll be able to do a tasting, shop for some merchandise, or simply relax. After a tasting, ride the trolley to the nearby distillery. You can tour the facility and see how they produce quality spirits using locally grown ingredients. Surrounding the distillery is River Falls Park. There's a small playground, modern bathrooms, a good picnic area, walking trails, and a soccer field. The park also serves as a trailhead for the Roanoke Canal Trail. This 7.8 mile trail connects the cities of Roanoke Rapids and Weldon. You can spend a peaceful afternoon on the river trying to catch a rockfish. Weldon is known as the rockfish capital of the world. The park connects to the Roanoke River with a nice boat launch for kayaks and canoes. This was a great Harvest Host stopover. The staff was welcoming, there was plenty to do with the tasting, distillery tour, and the beautiful park to enjoy. They even had a community fire pit and provided firewood for us. After night fell, all the campers came out to enjoy the fire. Definitely one of our favorite Harvest Hosts so far. So now that we're back from the distillery, we're going to try out one of their vodkas that they have. This one is a cinnamon flavored vodka. So without further ado, let's give this a try out. Cheers. Cheers. Mm. Oh, it's really good, but man, it is strong. Mm, starting to feel scaly. There's a uh, radioactive symbol on this. Oh my God! What? Welcome to the RV tip or top of the week. This week we're gonna share a tip on when you get to the campground and you're looking for a campsite. When you're looking for a campsite, when you get to your campsite that you think you wanna get, make sure that you have good clearance first for your RV to back in. And before you even back in, if possible, pull to the side and get out and check your water and your electric. Before you check the power, have the switches off on the pedestal first. You don't want any power running before you go ahead and plug in your power surge protector. Plug in your surge protector. Turn it on. 
make sure the lights are good and you're getting enough voltage. Around 120 volts you want. All green, good to go. And also, make sure your water's running. Also look for your sewer. You want to know where that's at before you back up so you're not running over. And that's our tip for the week. Looking for a fast setup solution for winter camping? Air skirts is the perfect way to keep cold air away from the undercarriage of your RV. Keeping your rig warmer while cutting down on heating costs and helping to keep pipes from freezing. Air skirts are made from a military grade material designed to resist punctures. It takes less than an hour to set them up, a time saver compared to traditional skirting or foam board. This is the quickest, most hassle-free option for winter camping, and you don't have to drill into your rig. The air skirts fit snugly because they are customized to fit your rig for maximum air blockage. They also carry a variety of additional accessories to ensure a warm and cozy winter in your RV. Visit airskirts.com and use our promo code John and Mandy at checkout for a discount. What are you doing there, Misty? Can you help me put on my shoes? You get mom's seat. Oh, look at you two. Working on your afternoon naps, I see. I guess I can't have my seat right now. Because you guys have it. Oh, look, you're awake now. Can I have my seat back? I guess not. Better luck next time. Tired, buddy. Gotta make sure you get your 18 hours of sleep today, huh? You don't suppose I can have my seat back there, do you? No? What do you think, Luca? You want me to stop bugging you guys so you can finish your nap? Then maybe I can get my seat back. Alright, sounds like a plan. the squirrel here. Thanks everyone for watching this video and if you enjoyed this video and found it helpful hit that subscribe button. Take care everyone.